Greetings and welcome to my tutorial for what I claim to be the best results for putting your own custom ringtones onto your iPhone 4S or iPad 2, uh, probably some other devices as well in the iRange. I, uh, I only have those two at hand to try this on and have tried it on, um, so I'm not going to confirm that it works and everything else, but hey, give it a shot, you never know. Um, okay, personally, I don't want to have the first six seconds of songs as ringtones because that's boring as heck. And frankly, that's about how long it takes me to answer a call by reaching over and grabbing my phone. I want a specific part from the middle. That's why I say this is for the best results, rather than just importing directly tracks that you've got. So, uh, in order to do this, you're going to want a piece of software called Audacity. It's this little uh, yellow and orange uh, spiky thing with blue headphones on that logo. A little bit of Googling will get you it. It's completely free, quite user intuitive as well. Uh, if you already have the perfect piece of music that you do want the beginning of, then go ahead and skip ahead in this video um, to about 4 minutes and 43 seconds. Out there. Thank you, voiceover. Uh, and, like I say, follow the instructions from there. If you don't, let's get on with uh, actually editing it up. So I'm going to open up Audacity. And, of course, you want iTunes as well in order to choose the piece of music that you want. Now, this is just a playlist of ones that I had that I thought I might want to make into um, ringtones. Uh, one that definitely fits the criteria is the Top Gun anthem. Have a quick listen. You all remember this piece of music? How about? Yep, yeah, we all know that one. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, I don't want the very beginning of it where it's just, you know, tapping on a single thing. So, highlight Top Gun anthem, uh, right click and show in find in this particular actual file. Now, here's my Top Gun anthem MP3. This won't really work, as far as I'm aware, on things that you bought from the iTunes store a couple of years ago when they had all that copyright protection stuff on everything they sold. They don't have that on there anymore. I think it probably might work on that stuff now. But it definitely does work on your MP3s that you've ripped from CDs and so on and so forth. So if need be, just burn a playlist to a CD, then re-rip it afterwards, etc., etc. But I'm going to drag that MP3 directly into Audacity. That's just going to take a few seconds to load up. You can see there, remaining time on the screen. Two, one... Bingo. Now, come on, there it is. We have our waveform. Uh, now, like I say, I don't want all of this, and I certainly don't want this beginning part. I am just going to want to file a little wavy line here. Yeah, I, I already know that I only really want this kind of area here. That's hollow and dark. So I'm going to trim this down. Just get rid of everything else I don't want. Um, just going to move that back to the beginning. Uh, zoom in a bit. Oh, that's probably a bit too much actually. Nope. We're good. Right, so yeah, I know. Wherever the heck this is. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to want to start it right there. We just get rid of all that. Let's cut that out. That leaves us with. Okay, so yeah, at that point now, I'm not going to want it to go into the repeat of that uh, straight from this recording. I'm just going to want it to, to, to kind of filter out. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of all that. Come on, catch up. There you go. Uh, cut that. Let me just listen to what the end of that sounds like. Yeah, nice details off, doesn't start something else. And then I'm just going to select a little bit of that, go into effect at the top here, and fade out. I know that makes it into this nice little pointy shape at the end. This is what it sounds like. And it just drops off the end there, which is nice. Good. I'm happy with that. That as my ringtone. It's only eight and a half, nine seconds long. Uh, so, on Audacity, this file I would like to export um, as an MP3 stuff, MP3 files. You may need to download another piece of software about that. Again, Google uh, Audacity MP3 export and it will show you the little file you need to add into your, uh, to your Mac system um, or your desktop system. So yeah, uh, on the desktop that will be fine. Desktop, uh, top Gun Anthem, yeah, that's fine. I'm not gonna, I don't want to rename that at all or anything. It's going to load it up onto my desktop. It's going to take all of two seconds. Yep, there it is over there. I see it already. So get rid of that. Don't bother with saving the changes. I'm just happy with this. Right. Now, open up that new MP3 you've just made in iTunes. So that's a double click. That 
that's it in its entirety. And there it is right there, highlighted in blue. Uh, shotgun ad from nine seconds long. Great stuff. Now right click that and create an AAC version. So it's not only going to be an MP3, it's going to be an AAC. And as you can see, that's obviously the one I already had highlighted. So that's the MP3, that means that one must be the AAC. Go ahead and just remove the MP3, we don't need it anymore. Uh, so I can delete. And for this one, I can go ahead and move it to trash. It's currently on my desktop right now, over here, as you can see. Uh, if I go move to trash, it actually deletes the one that it holds in its own file system and not that one. So It actually, like I said, will always recreate uh, copies of all files that you put into iTunes uh, so that they're organized, they're in folders, as you can tell at the bottom. I'm going to uh, just go and get rid of that. Now, when it created an AAC version, which is all I've got left here in iTunes, this now is my AAC version, not my MP3 version. Here it is. Here's the AAC version, Top Gun Anthem M4A. Go ahead and change that file description to read Top Gun Anthem M4R. That's it. When you go to execute this, you get a pop up. It gives you two options. Keep the M4A or use the M4R? Well, of course I'm going to use the M4R, otherwise I wouldn't have changed the name of it. If I wanted to keep the M4A, I wouldn't have done anything. <laughs> Silly iTunes. Okay, so now we've changed our M4R. Go back into iTunes, uh, the thing that you just had selected, the AAC version of your anthem, and delete this as well. And this time, when you delete it, keep the file. Don't move it to trash, otherwise our Top Gun Anthem M4R will vanish and we'll have to start the process all over again. Keep the file. It just removes the listing item of it from your playlist uh, and your library in iTunes. That's all you've done there. You haven't deleted the actual file. Now, play the file again in iTunes, M4R. Now, before, it appeared right here in between Top Gun Anthem and Torchy, which is the Olympic theme from 1984. It doesn't this time. That's because we changed it from an M4A, which will tell it to go here, to an M4R, which tells it to go here. Here's some of the other ones I've made. Uh, so yeah, there it is, Top Gun Anthem, right there. Now you need to do is put it onto your device. So I've got my iPad plugged in right now. Uh, it's very simple. I don't even have to go into the uh, menu system on that or anything. I just have to drag the file listing onto my iPad. It's highlighted there, surrounded by blue. Let go. It takes all of two seconds. Now I can go over onto my actual iPad and you can go into the settings, general, Top Gun Anthem, there it is, on the ringtone. There it is, and I can put that on my, on my iPhone as well, I can set it as a, as a ringtone, custom ringtones as well, uh, I've got a bunch of other ones, you can do it, you can make really short ones uh, to use as text alerts and so, so such as this. It's just four piano notes from the, the, quite near the beginning of the backdraft soundtrack. Bruce Hornsby in the range, show goes on. I think it makes a lot natural text to that. You can do that with all of these things. Um, if you're going to do this, don't make them too much over 30 seconds because uh, the iPhone might reject it. Don't make them over, I think it's three megabytes. Again, the iPhone will reject it. Um, and then there's thing, I'm not sure if there's a length limitation on what you can use as, as a text alert or whatnot, but I've noticed that things uh, that I've loaded in, like the Smooth Criminal one and the Remember the Name and Phantom of the Opera, uh, they don't all show up in my text alert file uh, listings. They don't allow that. So, yeah. Go ahead, have some fun, and uh, I, I certainly hope you enjoy that. Take care.